Hey, KIC here, and welcome back to a little more Ark Survival Evolved. So last episode saw Mr. Schenker here join team, and actually might need to think about putting a little extra food on him because well, he's probably going to be fine for a while. I mean, that food meter isn't really dropping all that quickly, so... Wow, what to put on him for levels. Just this guy doesn't really do... Well, I mean, he does have damage, but... Hmm, I don't know. They, uh... Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll go with damage. That's fine. I'm going to say they they don't really seem to have a whole lot of, of health and armor, but once I get a saddle on him, which admittedly will take a while, then he'll have a little bit more ability to survive. So I'm just going to grab that one. I know I missed one just a moment ago. It's all right. I'll not worry about that. I'm going to go and grab my narcotics just because... He doesn't need to run around with those. That's not really going to help him out. Just grab my torch so I can see. There we go. I can find the box. Apparently I'm having issues in part because I have a cat trying to destroy my chair, which she likes to do that. Ah, man. Anyway, so the idea for today is kind of head this general direction. This would be south, I believe. Now, it is obviously night. It's two in the morning, so it'll be daylight pretty soon. And, of course, my torch just broke. Can I not repair it while on dinosaur back? Apparently... Ah, I need wood. That's why. I forgot about that. I, I got rid of all my wood. And when I say got rid of all my wood, I mean I actually used it for one of those standing torches, which you can still see kind of burning away right now, which actually looks kind of weird. Look at that. Huh. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that torch again. It is kind of nice to be running around at night right now and not be cold, and that's thanks to the hide clothing that I found in the last episode. That was... Oh, speaking of... Sorry, I just distracted myself as I was looking at... Freya's meter here and food going, oh, uh, she's good. Oh, I'm not. Okay, there we go. Much better now. But I did find that in the last episode. Cracked open a supply crate and there it was. Okay, so what do we have going on over here? Looks like we've got a Tranodon. Is that what those are? I can never remember what those are called. See ya, buddy. Have a good flight. Is that what you are? You're a Tranodon? Hey, look at that. I remember. Good deal. Not really in a place to get one of those, even though... Come on. We've got a little traffic here. All right, good. Let's let's continue on. Still wouldn't mind having one of those. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like the idea of flying around the island. That seems like a lot of fun. Seems like that would be pretty interesting. You know what? I forgot to do something. Let's do it right now. Here we go. I technically have... An FPS overlay going on. I have the Steam one enabled, but it's kind of small. I guess it's actually about the same size as this one, but it is technically a little smaller, but I do like having the numbers up there just so I can tease myself with how poorly this game is running. Should mention I'm playing this before the 178 patch comes out. That was the weekend patch. Now, if you're not watching all this stuff chronologically, then the weekend patch might not mean anything to you, but. That was the weekend patch. It hasn't come out yet. It'll be out later today. I'm actually recording this really early Monday morning. It's not even 6 a.m. right now, believe it or not. But that's how my schedule is going to be for the week. If I'm going to record, it's going to be at these really odd hours, for me anyway. And that's just because I'm trying to get some content out. I'm trying to do this every weekday. So just know I am doing this for you. And I don't mean that in any sort of sarcastic way at all, actually. Yeah. So, nice and bright and early in my morning. And it's going to be bright and early in Ark's morning. And, no, I'm not just tracking this thing down. But since I wanted to go south anyway, I thought, well, why not go ahead and stop and grab Supply Crate? Assuming I get over there in time, since I keep stopping and not sprinting as much as I perhaps could be. 
Yeah, she has enough meat that I can sprint for a while. Not to mention, she still has a bunch of spoiled meat on her, so... I should go grab some narco berries at some point so I can make some more narcotics. And that way, I'd have a little bit more stuff ready to go for when it's time to grab some more dinosaurs. Not sure if I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. I only say that because that's going to require collecting a lot of berries because the next thing I would like to grab would be a trike. I think that would be helpful. Ooh, look at that. Just made it in time. Oh, that's awesome. See, this is why I'm checking these things out. Um, this is actually kind of helpful because, let's see, this stone hatchet is better than my stone hatchet. Well, can I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry all this stuff here. Let's just, let's just grab all of it and I'll see how encumbered I am. That's easier. Okay, so there's obviously a bunch of rocks. I don't need a bunch of rocks. So where are you, bunch of rocks? You're right there. Is that enough? Can I move now? Uh, I can't run, but that might be good enough. Here are nine pounds. Hmm. I can always collect more rocks, right? Here, let's let's just go ahead and dump those. Because now I'm pretty sure I can move just fine. Good. Now Freya here is ready to level up, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and give her some more damage. I think that'll be helpful. Now, I'm not quite sure how far south I am. That's the joy of this map. I'm just going to swing out over here a little bit. I'm not super far away. I mean, I have gone south a bit. I'm not sure that I want to go up there, though. This might actually be a good place. Here, let's, let's call Freya over here. I'm just going to have her follow me for right now. That's fine. I don't necessarily want to go climbing up there because bad things are up there. I know, I can probably take him right now. I'm I'm playing things a little cautiously, but you know, sometimes you just gotta be careful about stuff. Uh, where'd all those rocks go? Now that I'm thinking about it, I should just go grab all them because it's going to be fine. Hey, okay, come here. I'm gonna give you these. Here, hold these. Where are my rocks now? Hold those. Okay, where are my other ones? Good. Go ahead and grab those. Come on, pick them up. I know, they're heavy. All right, she's going to hold them. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Here. You hold these. Where are they? Good. Can we walk? Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. We're going through molasses. It's slow motion. That doesn't look awkward at all. Okay, enough of that. Follow me over here. Not that I'm particularly going very far. So I've been talking about doing this and I haven't done it yet. Now I realize I haven't exactly gone very far and that's fine. I'm not, I'm not really interested in going super far out just yet. I want to see if this even works the way I think it works. So consider this a little bit of me experimenting right now. Let's see, let's put up a wall right there, and we'll do a wall right there, and we'll do a wall right there, and with any luck, I have grabbed all of the parts that I need. Oh, I don't see, yep, there it is, never mind. I was about to say, I don't see a door frame. Nope, I was good, I grabbed it. Did I grab the ceiling, though? I did, I did grab a thatch roof, good. I would feel silly if I didn't grab a thatch roof. Okay, where's that door? Let's go and get you down here. Look at that. Okay. This is nice and cozy. So I want to slam a bed in here. Now, I'm not sure how this works because I'm fairly certain you can have multiple beds, but I don't know. Oh, you can, you can make it in there, right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do need a little bigger than a one by one. See, this is why I wanted to test this stuff out now and do it with crummy materials. Okay, how about if I do something like this? Can I spin it around? No? How about if I jump? Does that help? No, that doesn't help at all. Wow, well that's kind of a shame. That seems like a bit of a, a bit of a letdown. 
Hmm. Okay, well, here, can I cancel that for the moment? Let's try it again. One more time. Well, that's good to know. So I actually need to increase the size of this little house before it can be of any use to me. All right, well, that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it here. There's no reason not to. So let's turn that off. And we'll close the door because, you know, why not? I'm going to give you, well, I guess I don't need to. I'm actually okay. I would like to go make this, but I don't have any spark powder, which means I can't craft it. Let's take a look for a moment here. I don't need my torch up anymore. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, look at that. There's, before I do anything dumb here, let's just go grab that. This is turning into not what I thought this episode was going to be. I apologize for that. I didn't realize you can't put a bed in a one by one. I thought there was enough room. Looks like there is to me, but I get it. Technically, the door would open into the bed, so there's not enough room. That's cool. That's, I'm actually, I'm fine with that. That that makes sense, you know? If you could open the door like that, never mind that you're actually passing through the bed. Well, that would be kind of on the silly side, so I am glad that doesn't work, even though it means I look like a complete fool on video now. But hey, I've learned something new, so... I think that's actually just fine. Man, I should have given her more stamina. I'll have to remember that. Oh, there's Dilo picking on all the dodos. Leave all the dodos alone. They're just dumb little birds. Come on. You're not going to fight me? Oh, look at that. It's Dilo fight. Okay. Okay. You are going to die, sir, or madam, whichever you are. I really wasn't even paying attention. I was busy trying to save the dodos. Oh, dodo, what are you doing? You can't swim. You're a dodo. I guess you sort of can swim. That's, sir, wow, that's really bright. Come on, dodo, you can make it back. Wow, you too? You're gonna, you're, all right, whatever. Don't, don't make me regret saving you because... I will regret it if you're just going to sit there and die. Ah, look at that. I have a Fiomia saddle. Now I have a blueprint for one. And I apparently also have a saddle. Wrong button. Let's go. Wrong button. There we go. Are we moving a little slow? We are moving a little slow. I can't handle that. Let's go. Come on. Wow, that is nice and bright as the sun reflects off the sand. It's funny, you can turn that off. I think that's R.Bloom quality space zero. Or maybe it's SG, dot, SG space R.Bloom quality. I don't know. It's a console command. That's what I'm trying to say. You can turn that off so you don't have that bloom effect running, which theoretically means better performance and not being blinded by the sun. But I actually kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. It doesn't seem like it's too big a deal to me. Yeah, it's bright, sure, absolutely, but just the same. I don't know, the sun's bright when it shines on the sand and the water and everything else, so... I don't know, I'm good with it. I mean, not everything is about realism, and I'm not trying to say that just because that is a somewhat realistic effect that it's okay. It's, you know, it's a game. It's allowed to be different. It actually should be different, but... Oh, really? We have another one over there? All right, well, let's go check it out. This is turning into Supply Crate episode. And they're all crummy ones, too, which is the funny part. But maybe I can get a blueprint for spark powder. Is that too much to ask? Okay, this one is not ready yet. It is coming down right now. I have a cat in my lap because she is being super annoying. I'm having to watch every move she makes. And now she's gone. Well, here, I was going to take a look at something, and since that's going to take a little while to come down, I was going to look at my engrams here. So I have some points to apply still, because in the last episode, I didn't quite apply everything. Now, I think at some point, I would actually like to have spark powder, and I might just take that mite right now. In fact, let's see. There's the flare gun. 
So that requires gunpowder, and gunpowder requires spark powder. So I'm kind of feeling like I should take spark powder and gunpowder. I'm not necessarily thinking that flare gun blueprint I found is going to be super duper helpful, but you do kind of need some of those things for later on, because if we go down here, let's see, that's the metal tools. I want those. That's, no, those are. Here's the pistol. That looks like a rocket launcher. That would be the long rifle, I believe, and that would be the shotgun. And I'm thinking maybe those two guys right there would be good to have. Man, that's planning for quite a while at this rate, huh? Level 35, I mean, I'm going to have to do some serious grinding to get to that point. But if nothing else, having spark powder would allow me to make something that burns a little better than wood. So, ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Are you ready to be grabbed yet? I say that as I'm staring at it. Okay. Let's go ahead and access that. And sure, whatever. I have more spears and tools and all that stuff. Great, let's go. And let's not find another one of those unless it's a green one because I'm actually getting tired of picking them up. I mean, don't get me wrong, all the stuff is cool. I'll definitely take it, but I, would mind, I wouldn't mind getting better stuff. I'm kind of tempted to go for that one because it is a green one, but maybe that's not a good idea. We need to head back and drop some of this stuff off anyway, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back and I'm going to decide after this episode is over or maybe the beginning of the next episode whether I'm going to go for spark powder and gunpowder, and if I do, then I'll definitely craft a flare gun. I think that'll be kind of fun to do should I decide to go that route. I kind of think I will at this point. It just, that seems like fun. I haven't really messed with the firearms too much in this game. I had a little bit of time playing with it with one of the firearms early on when the single player game was broken and you spawned with the debug character. So that was kind of fun. I was shooting a trike in the face with a revolver and took a lot of shots actually. So I don't know. But anyway, have some stuff to look forward to next time. I'm going to stop and drink some water and now let's refill that guy and keep going. So I will catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.